All right, so we're doing flexicarpi radialis now. So we've just done pronatoteri, so probably easiest way to do it. Find the cubital fossa onto pronator teres, just pronate for me. So that's it there, flicking over it. So I'll just roll medially over it and push into sort of that gully there. You can kind of feel the kind of yourself going over the muscle belly there. And we just get you to radially deviate, thanks. And I can feel that coming up. Go again. Yeah. There's not really anything else that'll come up with that, as long as they're not sort of um, pushing into a bit of pronation as well, which she wasn't, so just be aware of that. And also what you can do just to make sure is I feel like I'm on the muscle there. Just wiggle your fingers. And I'm not feeling any contraction through flexor dig profundus or digitorum. So it just sort of tells you which one. Make, make sure that you're on it. There we are there. So then once you're on it, then we can go down. It's pretty tight there. So let's make sure that's not pronator. So just pronate for me. That was pronator. More there, so just radially deviate from there. Relax. Go again. So what we do with this one is we needle at the radius. So I tend to isolate it there and then needle laterally. Radially deviate. Wiggly fingers. Yep, not coming up. This one is quite a bit deeper than pronator teres. So here, and we're going at the radius, so I think the radius is back here. So I'm needling kind of round through, directing around the back there. Straight away, bang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sometimes if you're right over it, although I said sometimes you need to needle deeper through there, then muscle's quite irritated. You just hit that fascia and you get the twitch. So did you see that, Sam, with the video? Let's see if we can get another. Right? Mm -hmm. 